So we're going to do a quick tutorial of Three Peaks Challenge coming up this fucking weekend. This video applies for any of the challenges coming up. It's approximately 236 kilometers. This uh, female cyclist here, Lucy, did it in nine hours. Elevation, that's not, that's not, that's, that's probably when you use iPhone elevations. Well, the elevation is about 3,500, 4,000, depending on who you quote. 8,000 calorie. It's a big day. I would say probably less than that. But uh, depending on your weight, how hard you're riding it. So it looks like a loop course, and on Strava, that's the beautiful thing about Strava, you can see what's going on. So it looks like a glider's start on the downhill, and then it's the first little climb there, downhill again, and up, and the last one, the last one seems to be the beauty. So if you just go through the Strava segments, you can see the minuses here, or well, the 0% means we're going downhill, downhill. So you obviously in the big bunch ride, you want to be very, very careful, because everyone's, you know, G'd up, excited. Maybe it's dark in the morning, everyone's you know waking up still, so be careful in the descent. Don't take too many risks. The first hill, 5%, and then we've got a little 23% grade there, so a little bit of a kick. This is where a compact crank set is going to definitely be helpful for a long ride. 3450 gearing is what I would be picking for this ride, definitely. Uh, but a lot of people go, no, you got to have a 53, 39 and get strong. And that's why I drop all those fuckers up the steep climbs, uh, especially on a fun ride like this. A long ride like this, I'll be dropping... 99.9% .9 of the people uh, on a 200k plus ride, except for the descents, I'll be getting dropped down there. But on the climbs, I'll be smoking people because I'm not, I'm not necessarily fitter, but I've got a better strategy. I know how to spin, just like Lance Armstrong and Contador and all the other, all the other crew. You gotta fucking spin, mate. If you're not fucking spinning, you're losing wattage. So we have the first one here, the first climb, 11k's at 5%. It's like Norton Summit times two, very easy, 5%, 2%, 6%, 6, 6, minus 0, 6, 6, 7, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, minus 4, downhill again. So you can see there's nothing real brutal here. There's nothing real brutal. It's not a hard event, but people make it harder because they use hard gears. You want to be spinning uh, 7%, 5%. So you can see there's nothing real strenuous here. It's pretty steady percent. A few little kicks for a few hundred meters but nothing that's gonna bust your nut. But the reason why it's hard, this is an easy ride. This is not a challenging ride, but people make it challenging because they don't know how to pace themselves. They're hitting, big, they're hitting like five watts per kilo on the first climb for the first few minutes, burning through a shit ton of glycogen, sweating more than they need to, so they're dehydrating themselves, and they've got another 200 k's to go. So this is an easy ride. It's a very easy terrain. It's nothing hard on here, but people use hard gearing. They pace too hard. They don't eat enough carbohydrate and they don't drink enough water. So they get to the, the last climb, let's have the last climbs here, and they're fucking toasted. Pain lane, 8%, looks like a bit more steady, 3.5. 3 here we go, Falls Creek, sounds like the, the place to be. Bogong High Plains Road. So this is here now, we're getting to some the business end of the deal. Um, looks pretty good. So you wanna have, the, you wanna have glycogen for the last climb, 8%. We've got some good climbs here. This one here, the pain lane. The pain lane looks interesting. I'd love to go see the pain lane. 10%, 1K. So nothing too brutal, but people are going to get to the end of this climb and they're going to be glycogen depleted. They haven't eaten enough carbs because they're probably trying to do some fucking high fat diet or high protein diet or whatever. <laughs> this is a fucking easy ride. This is half an Everesting challenge in the same similar amount of distance. This is not a challenging ride. But I'll tell you what, I'll say it again. People make it more hard than it really is because they don't have the proper gearing. They don't ride the power, they don't eat or drink enough. So bottom line, in one minute, how to crack the fucking three peaks challenge. One, have a minimum gear on your bike, 34 in the front, 32 in the rear, as a minimum, 34, 32. Your mates might laugh at all those sissy gears to say, hey, Duran Rider, if he was here, he'd fucking kick your ass, so shut up, because I would. You wanna have a power meter and ride at least under three watts per kilo. One to three watts per kilo, just sit around that on the uphills. You know, one to three watts per kilo. If you're an elite level rider, Four watts per kilo, five watts per kilo. You know, if you're on EPO, six watts per kilo. That's it. So the average rider, one to three watts per kilo on the climb. So sit around that. Heart rate doesn't matter. Carbohydrate, at least ten grams of carbs per kilo body weight per day. So if you're a seventy kilo rider, that's at least seven hundred grams of carbs every single day leading up to the events. I eat that much every day anyway. If I'm today no sport, no training at all, I'm still going to smash in seven, eight hundred grams of carbs. All right. Eating lean, and uh, on the on the day have a decent breakfast because it's downhill, so you got time to digest. 
you got 40, looks like 40 kilometers before your first climb. So you have a big, have a fucking big breakfast, eat so much in the morning, you're about to vomit. Then get on the bike and fucking roll down the hill. And during the ride, take in at least one gram of carb per kilo body weight per hour. So if you're 70 kilos, take in at least 70 grams of carbs. Sugars, you want sugars. That's about three gels or three bananas or about five or six large dates per hour. And you want to drink enough water so you're pissing every two or three hours. Be like, oh, I don't want to start to piss because it... So what the fuck, you don't want to be hydrated? You're a fucking idiot. So you want to be pissing at least every two or three hours and clear, knock back waters. You don't need to drink more than a liter per hour, but you need to drink enough so you're pissing every two or three hours clear. If you're gonna use any stimulants or painkillers, I don't really recommend it, but if you're gonna, I'd say leave them to last half. That way, if you're on heaps of stimulants at the start, you might be like, oh, I just gotta fucking go it, mate. Just fucking go it, cunts. But then what happens is you go too hard, too deep. And most people don't have a fucking power meter, and a lot of people have a power meter, don't even fucking look at it. <laughs> That's why so people are so easy to beat on these long rides, because they're just like, ah, you know? Come at me, bro, come at me. And they just fucking toast themselves at the start in the first 100 Ks. So, it would be uh, an interesting ride, um, and to have fun. Enjoy this beautiful scenery out there, beautiful fresh air. If it's if it's raining and cold, I would suggest uh, wearing a track suit you get from the Vinnies or Salvos, or you know a little jacket, and then just disposing that in the side of the road in the first little town or whatever, and picking up the way home or whatever. Just a track suit, cost you five bucks, stash it in the bushes, come back on the way through, pick it up when you're going home. Um, that's what I would do. And or newspaper. Stuff, stuff newspaper up your jersey and then you can throw it. Make sure when you throw it that you're not crashing other riders. <laughs> but you can throw a newspaper, it's biodegradable, it's not littering in the real world. It's, we use an organic farming newspaper on the soils, so no worries, the worms don't mind it. So newspaper in the fucking jersey, have a fucking Sunday mail out there or Sydney Morning Herald, whatever you're fucking from, and just stay warm if it's, if it's cold. And if it's, if it's hot, then you want to wear as little clothing as possible without getting sunburnt. And that's bottom line tips there. So that's how to do the Three Peaks Challenge. It's not a fucking hard ride. It's not a hard ride. It's a challenging ride, but the only way it's a hard ride is if people don't eat enough carbohydrate, don't fucking drink enough, have the wrong gearing, don't, eat, don't ride to power. One to three watts per kilo in the fucking bank.